You can access the entire episode now on our website, ForbiddenKnowledge.news, Rumble, and all podcast platforms. You mentioned the, the Red Shoe Club earlier, and I wonder at times if some of these stories are exaggerated in any, any way to get the conspiracy oh, yeah. community looked at as tinfoil hat wearing crazy people. We never get any real reliable proof of anything, and no one ever answers no. to any of these crimes that we ever hear about. But when we look at things like the Red Shoe Club and the really dark, disturbing child trafficking and sacrifice possibilities, how deep do you think that can go? See, I, I think that, you know, truth is stranger than fiction. So even the things that we think that we know, it probably goes far darker. And I do believe there's a connection to adrenochrome. And if, if it really is these like parasitic entities, reptilians, whatever they may be, uh, according to the, I'm reading Children of the Matrix, it's tough to get through. I love David Icke, but his books and the way they're written, it's a lot of stuff within like this massive book. And, uh, and and this idea is supposed to be to stay in this reality, right? They need the adrenochrome. It allows them to physically stay here in these bloodline families. So I think that that plays some part of it. And and I'm the type of person I th I've seen weird stuff in my life. I've seen crazy things. You know, I've I've seen I've seen proof of these entities in my opinion with my shadow people experience. So I do think that there's a possibility that has something to to do with it. I do think like look how many children go missing a year, man. It, it it's not it's not this like coincidental thing. Uh, eighty four um, children went missing at the eighty four thousand children missing at the border. Like that's crazy, and they admitted this. They admit that's a lot of kids, man. Even that alone on the surface of what they have admitted uh, of like uh, essentially like um, immigrant children or whatever from the whatever third world and, and how they end up here and all this shit. And there's a lot of coincidental things. And if they are really having these weird parties where they get them in precarious positions, you know, and that's the whole thing with Jeffrey Epstein. I think it goes way deeper than that. But like, oh, yeah, this chick, yeah, she's like 18, da, 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 like, you know, like have fun, whatever. And you find out she's 15 and then they get you. So imagine. Imagine things that go deeper in in the levels of, of where this goes and and what Hillary Clinton's involved with in like so it's the the removing of the face of a children with a wiener laptop mm. and that is like people do not if people acknowledge that then they have to acknowledge that their entire life is a lie that everything that they know of is is much more nefarious and scary than they will ever understand that there is truly truly evil in this world that has been taking over the planet and manipulating everything within our society you know there's really good people out there and if there's really good people there's really bad people so if, if people start to acknowledge that there is things like pizzagate which a lot of people are like nah, we're not to debunk the guy that debunked it got caught with yeah, right so there <laughs> so we like realistically you have to start looking at this stuff and like frazzle drip and all these weird like sayings that they have and and why they scrub like hillary clinton's laptop and so and there's deeper connections to like even the trudeau family uh and and it's like it's pretty disturbing i do think that it goes a lot deeper than most people think and i think that the idea of the red shoe club is is something that could happen they wear these red shoes because it blends in with the blood uh they you know so it, it's dripping on their shoes and it's it's all symbolism right and and if we you, you've looked into a lot of bohemian grove stuff like that happened yeah. Alex Jones caught that on camera. They cremated their cares. They're like, they're burning away all their cares about the horrible things they've done in the past year. That's a real thing. Even if it's just an effigy, which I believe that it's probably real in some extent. Um, these people are like evil. And if you start to, I'm reading, I'm going to read this book when I'm at the college called um, 1666 Redemption Through Sin. This guy does great stuff on YouTube. He's, um, He's like an anthropologist kind of dude, uh, and he's he's fascinating because he dissects the Zionist stuff, and uh, they believe in redemption through sin, and and if you start to study the Talmudist Jews, they'll like the, uh, the one practice K Prat or whatever it's called, they will we're supposed to be like do a ritual where they put all their sins into a chicken and they're like projecting all their sins into a chicken then they fucking kill the chicken and they eat it and, and it's like that's a, the one of the, that the thing that they actually do and that is fucking weird man yeah that i mean really you can look at a lot of 
these religious practices. I mean, in Christianity, all you got to go do is sit in a booth and tell some dude about your sins and then eat the body and blood of Christ and you're good. So, but that that seems that can it can go into some pretty dark territories, especially when you look at the reasons behind some of these why some of these groups participate in these things. Now, that's a cannibalistic right. act. That's like that's a symbolism of cannibalism for all the the Christians out there, stuff like that. That comes specifically from uh, the, Va- the Vatican. My buddy, that's a Christian, he, they don't do that shit. Uh, so it's it is a symbolism, and you know, the, David I talks about the reptilian stuff that goes on with that. But uh, it, there's definitely that's definitely a weird thing, well, hey. man. And, and the energy you're putting out there when you're, you know. Well, no, we're in the weird waters, so we're going to go deep, man. We're going <laughs> to wade deep into these waters and see how far we can go. Well, we're talking about hijacked reality. In my perspective, <laughs> there is there are layers of reality, and there are aspects that have 100% been hijacked by very nefarious individuals and groups that want to hold on to power and attempt to steer humanity in certain ways. This is done through religion and certain power structures and the isms you were talking about earlier, Zionism, (laughs) communism, and it's all held together by our education and political systems and this forms the matrix reality. And I look at the human beings that are at the top, at least the ones that we can identify and we know their names. And it's hard enough to think, well, are these guys really human? Because I can't imagine myself participating in some of the activities that yeah. I hear these guys do. But we have to look at it as we had, we don't have proof otherwise. So we'll go with, yes, these guys are human. But you also have the ritualistic aspects that they participate in. Many of these groups believe in the practices that they are participating in, and there are some very dark aspects behind it. So the question is, are there intelligences that they are answering to, or at least believe that they're answering to, that could be orchestrating a lot of the direction that we're headed? Yeah, and I I do definitely think that there is... Um, people controlled and and a lot of it is like I, I don't know I think there's people that like say Trudeau or something like that um, if Biden or whatever they don't really know what's like going on they've been involved in some really shady shit but they actually don't know how far this really goes but there's the idea I did a song called fuck Trudeau it actually got me a lot of attention um, you know a lot of people did like it and uh, and I talked about you know uh, uh, sacrificing your brother for ritualistic murder i guess we all have to pay the price you sadistic pervert so and there's a a, just a weird thing of like all this sacrifice and his they his mom and like him uh laughed almost like laughed about it about his brother getting involved with this weird accident on a ski hill and he's like well he shouldn't have been doing that and it's just like it's absurd they're like disconnecting an an unempathetic view of uh of of what happened to a family member especially the son and and uh a brother and so you start to see this and there's definitely some sort of parasitic force there is they're they're feeding off of our energy whether they be reptilians or they be some sort of anunnaki kind of uh entities that have existed for eons and are trying to control this reality and and according to we just did an episode about the anunnaki i kind of wanted to start diving into some of that stuff i don't know much about that right and you've had billy carson on the show i found him fascinating and he's been he's blown up recently uh so i was like you know i want to cover my bases and this idea of that maybe it comes from all of that that they they created us in and smited god to some extent the tr- the one the one true creator maybe and and knew they would be punished and we were created out of this weird experiment and and maybe that's who's like feeding off of us because there's definitely like, i've felt it on mushrooms i've 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 always tried to test myself like i did it to four grams of mushrooms i'm like closing my eyes seeing a thousand eyes and stuff like that dmt is supposed to do this but mushrooms do this to me and then uh, i'm looking through the fractals and i'm like seeing like almost demonic faces and i'm telling them that you, you have no power over me and it's almost like i'm seeing through this reality of what things are existing beyond this a lot of these people are just puppets